What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday, and today we are playing a deck. I don't even know what happened. So if you don't know, Fan Friday is where I leave a post on my Facebook page, Facebook page saying, hey guys, what deck should I play for Fan Friday? And the deck that gets the most votes uh, wins. And this week was this list. Uh, it was called Four Times Weakness. And, uh, I don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. Guys, I know you're having fun trolling me, uh, but can we win a game with this deck or not? What do I get if I win a game with this deck? And not like some, like, just a random deck, like a legit competitive deck. Um, if I win a game with this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, because today... Man, if I don't win you over today, then I, I don't know what will. Uh, but today we're playing a Galvantia, Vileplume, Vaporeon, Flareon, Octillery, Mew deck. Uh, let me scoot over quick. If you don't know, there's one Skyla. I kind of did cover it up. But guys, oh my goodness. So our main attacker, Galvantula. We've seen this plenty of times. Double Thread does 30 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Apply Weakness and Resistance. And that is the key. So when you hit for Weakness, you do 60. But with Vileplume, you do four times instead. So you do 120 damage, which can knock out Shamans over and over again, which is the game plan. Like, do not get me wrong. But with this, you play Flareon and Vaporeon, which makes your stage one that type. So now Flareon is a fire type. And, I mean, Galvantula is a fire type. And Vaporeon is a water type. I mean, oh my goodness. Vaporeon makes Galvantula water. Or Flareon makes Galvantula fire. Depending on the situation, if you need it. Um, like against Volcanion, you can use, uh, you know, Vaporeon. Against Grass Ducks, you can use Flareon, obviously. So uh, that's the plan. Put out different types and see what you want to do. But the thing to note here is we play a 1-1-1 Valpum line and uh, no Forest of Giant Plants. Yep. So, uh, yeah, and no Forest of Giant Plants. We have to mainly evolve our Valpum. We have to waste three turns of evolving this guy or we play one Rare Candy. So, not only do we play a 1-1-1 line, we play one Rare Candy as well. Fantastic. All right, so this deck plays one Pinsir. Why not? Uh, roof fling, flip a coin of heads, put your opponent's act Pokemon, all cards attached to it, into your opponent's hand. I mean, you could use this, though, in the game. You could you could go for it and make them put their only active in their hand and win the game that way. That is very cute, but uh, not practical. All right, so one Mew EX. Um, that way you can copy Galvantula's attack to hit for weakness for Psychic. That could be really cute. Like, hit some Hoopas for, like, 120 or something, and then hit them again for Knockout. And the deck plays no Shaman, uh, but 1-1 one, one Octillery. Yeah, I said a 1-1 one, one Octillery. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, alright. So the deck plays 1 Battle Crusher. Why not? 1 Echo Arm, because why not? Um, 3 Love Ball to search Pokemon with 90 HP or less, which can get you uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards, okay. And 1 Master Ball, Eyes or Ace Spec. This is expanded, so why not play an Ace Spec and play... One of the ones that I've never played, and that is Master Ball, which lets you search deck for any Pokemon and put it in your hand. Uh, one Rare Candy, get that Bob Mount if you do Prize Gloom. One, oh, two Super Rod, sorry, two Super Rod to reuse the Galvangelos over and over again, which is the good thing about this deck. Like, your opponent's only taking non EX knockouts for the most part, like Knockout Galvangelos. So, you either knock out six of these guys or six Pokemon while you just keep like, hitting their bench for a ton of damage. One target whistle to get a Pokemon out of the discard pile back onto the bench. One town map to see your price cards. Uh, four Ultra Ball and four VS Seeker. Now here's a here's a kicker. One Lysander. Four in. No Sycamore Juniper. One Skyla and two teammates. So not only do we not play Shaman, we only play four in as our draw supporters. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> four burst balloons. So if they hit us, they take additional sixty damage. Two flowstone to give that vile plume uh, plus Octillery a free retreat because they do have a hefty retreat cost. So does Vaporeon. A lot of Pokemon this deck. Well, vile plume has a three, and uh, Remoraid has a two. So uh, vile plume is the heavy guy here. So three DC. I uh, guess so you can use Roofling more. I guess. And four, five lightning, which is for the electro web, so you can actually use that. I mean, and that's the deck right there. I mean, the only, yeah, the really only thing you can use lightning for is for a roofling. I mean, 
I was contemplating, kind of, like, I kept the same 60. I didn't change anything. Played the exact same list that was suggested. It had, like, 20 something the links. And, uh, yeah, guys. So, make sure, if you want to go for Fan Friday, make sure you go like the Facebook page, which is down below. Everything in the description, everything that you need to know for the channel is down below. My Snapchat, the Apparel page, uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want, I got it. Except for Instagram. I'm not cool enough to have Instagram. But, there you go, guys. Here's the Galvantula 4 times Weakness Vile Plume deck. Will it work or not? One we'll find out here in a second, guys. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and let's see this deck in action. All right, so putting it's Michael Mack playing a Dark, Psychic, Water, and a Colorist deck, which means some kind of Evital deck. All right, but that's I guess, is okay, because we have, like, Joltik can hit it for weakness on Evatols and Shamans, and... I mean, uh, Flareon and Vaporeon is pretty much useless, but still, I mean, Joltik by itself is enough, so we really don't need, like, the Vaporeon and, and, and Flareon, which is still good, but we're not going to play it, um, we just got to try to get, like, the Octillery out, uh, try to get the 111 Valpum out, I mean, I think we're in trouble regardless, but we'll see what happens, okay, so my opponent is going to go first, which is okay, I guess. All right, so we start Oddish, Mew. Okay, so we start Mew. Put down Joltik, uh, Oddish. And right now, we don't have a supporter card. But we could Ultra Ball <clears throat> for Remoraid. Um, I just realized this list doesn't even play Force the Giant Plants. What is going on? Like, I, I just keep looking at this list, and I'm like, what is going on? All right, so put down Joltik. We'll put down the Oddish. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm pressed on my opponent's letting their start a Pokemon. I'm really scared, guys. So, Hoopa start. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right. Hoopa start from my opponent. Okay. That's good. That's that's step number one. There's a DC to the active as well. And a Sycamore discarding his hand. Draw seven to cards. Discards a Megaphone, Coward, Sycamore, and two Dark Energies. Here's Yavatal, Floatstone to the active, which is very strange because now he's going to keep the DCE on his Pokemon. Um, I guess so later on we can't lie Sander. So, uh, tells we're not asleep. And, da -da 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 -da. what else will he do? Will we see a pass? Uh, right now we could snipe both, uh, some Evasols, maybe some Shamans. Alright, just pass for 10. Alright, so on to our turn. What do we get? Well, we get a VS Seeker. So, Ultra Ball discard a Balloon and a VS Seeker for a Rimmerade. Okay. There's Octillery. Oh, cool. Our Rimmerade's prized. Fantastic. And our Gloom's prized. Fantastic. Okay, so right now I'm going to grab a, uh, a Joltic. Okay, press done. Uh, put it on the Joltic and cry. Okay, so we got to hope our opponent ends us. Because right now our hand's not good, obviously. And we're just... Kind of don't have anything, but that's what you expect when you play four in and one teammate and one Skyla, and yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. So, my opponent's turn, uh, does he find Dark Patch? Does he find Energy? All right, so there's a going to the Yavatal. Okay, that's not good, because now Yavatal even does more damage. There. All right, I'm, I've never been excited to see an end, but we're going to see an end. Both players are going to shuffle. We're going to get six new cards. All right, so let's see what do we find. There's a Jolted, Galvantula, Flowstone, and Burst Balloon. All right, so Compressor. You're going to discard three cards out of his deck. Did he whip an energy? That could be fantastic, guys. Uh, but right now, we have an army of Galvantula just to start attacking. But who do they attack? Uh, pretty much nobody. Because there's nobody on my opponent's bench. Um, if he puts down a Keldeo, puts down a, um, a Shaman, those are some good cards to put down. Uh, okay, so Dark Energy, that guy. Okay, that's great. I am fine with the Dark Energy, so Dark Patch, O to the Evitol. All right, that's not good. Uh, will he retreat and go for a... Oh, he's going to go for a, a Blood Wing. That is fantastic to me. I am A-OK -okay, -okay with this play. So, will he put down a Shaman? A Keldeo, that could be really good for us. Nope, just going to Blood Wing for 30 damage. All right, so on to our turn. What we're going to do is put a Burst Balloon on the Joltig. Uh, maybe play some Love Ball. There's an Echo Warm. Don't care about that, really. So put on Joltic, Galvantula, uh, Floatstone, Bursty Balloon, Love Ball. I uh, wish the Gloom was in the deck, but it's not. I wish the, I, I wish the, uh, I remember he's in the deck, but it's not either. So grab Galvantula. Okay. Our Time Maps in there, so that's good. So grab Galvantula. 
We'll evolve a Joltik. And we'll play it in. Can we find an energy attachment for the turn? And we do find one plus another Joltik. Um, which I think I am going to put down. So put down another Joltik. We will retreat into the Galvantula. Put a Lightning Energy. Oh, we could find. Oh, man. If we. Oh, we can make it where he can't retreat next turn. But then he can rush in, so that doesn't matter. So we'll we'll, we'll hit both these guys doing uh, 60 and 30. All right, so owner of my partners there are going to draw a guard. Okay. Um, But if we find a rare candy, we get a potential. Oh, a Seismitoad. All right, so a Seismitoad. Uh, Trubbish coming out. Oh, no, don't get Garboder out. Come on, man. We already have enough trouble as it is. But if we type like a Valplume, we can take a knock on this guy and uh, do a ton of damage to that guy. Uh, three, six, nine. We're not taking a knock on everyone, on anybody. I'm just shamans, just shamans. But we can still put heavy pressure on that seismitoad. And will my opponent attack with this evital? If he does, can we take a knockout? I don't think so. So hypnotoxic laser. Okay, that's not good. Uh, tails. A little victory for us. Okay. Uh, there's an ultra ball. Go and discard two cards from his hand. Discards an end and an evital. I'll most likely see a Shaman. Oh, a Darkrai. That's not good, because now his Pokemon have free retreat. A Darkrai coming down. Okay. We'll see a Sycamore. Discard his hand. Draw seven cards. But if he attacks with this guy, what we could do is Electro Reb for the knockout. So Flowstone to the Trubbish. Okay. Uh, DC to the side stone. We could see a Quicket Punch. But no, going to send the Evil Tall, which is fine with me, because now we get Electro Reb for the knockout. He's going to do 100 damage, going down to five prize cards. We'll send in the Galvantula, and we'll take a knockout this turn with Electro Web, which does 60 to the active. All right, so on our turn, we find a Lightning. So put a Lightning on the active, and we'll go for the Electro Web for 60. Knocking out the Evital, going down to four prize cards. All right, there's a Burst Balloon and a Rimmerade. There you are, buddy. I mean, he's about to get a Garboda down, so that's not going to matter too much. But uh, we still got to believe, right, guys? All right, so we'll see a Evital come up, which is okay with me. Okay, all right, so we're going places. I don't know where we're going, but we are going somewhere. So there's a Dark Patch, putting a Dark Energy on that Dark Rye. That's not good. Uh, we really can't do anything about that Dark Rye. So Sacred Ash, going to shove an Evital, the Evital back into his deck. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see what else will our opponent do. I hope he doesn't get the Garboder out because then our Valplume is useless. Okay, all right, all right, we got this, guys. Do not worry. Um, we just gotta believe, right? We just gotta believe we can do this. I don't know if we can. All right. I mean, right now he's got free treat, so he can he can put a dark energy dark patch and night spear for the knockout. He already has two dark energy played, and there's four, five, six on the field already. So he probably plays like one, maybe two more. There's a VSC of Fort in. Yes. Oh man, I've never. Why am I so excited? I don't know. I mean, our hand is really bad, so that's why. Um, so a dark, okay, a DC going to dark, right? If he finds a dark patch, you get Night Spear, take two prize cards. That's not good, guys. That's not good at all. That's not good. You hear me? That is not good at all. We just don't, no Night Spear for you, sir. Please do not Night Spear us. That would be, not be nice. You hear me? Don't you dare, don't you think about Night Spear. Don't you think about using Night Spear, take, knock on two Joltics. I know it seems really good, but don't you dare do it. Um, uh, our Super Rod's still in the deck, so that could probably still have to save us. Uh, Lysander, bring of the Joltik, okay. And a Blimwing for the knockout. Alright, so with this, we need a top deck of teammates. Alright, so put a Dark in your Dark Eye. We'll set up Mew, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Until, until our turn, we get a, an N. Okay, so we'll Blurge Bloom, the Galvantula, put down the Remarine. A Lightning Energy, the Joltik. Okay, and what I'm going to do is N. All right, so we're N my opponent. Okay, we'll get, you'll get four. We get four as well. There's Galvantula and a teammate. Okay, so put down Galvantula. We will retreat and go for an Electro Web, make it where he cannot retreat next turn, okay? So six of damage onto our opponent's turn. If he attacks us... um. I don't know what we can do. I don't know. I don't know what our plan is. Don't. I'm trying to figure this out as we go. That's the key thing. Can we figure this out? I, I don't know. I do not know. Uh, but if he attacks us, he'll get bot for 60, which doesn't really do too much. Hmm. 
I just really didn't want Dark Rise to start swinging right now. I don't want a nice bear happening. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What we could do is, if we hypothetically top deck a Lysander, we could bring up the Trubbish and keep smacking it. And then hit a Lysander to take a knock on two Pokemon. Okay, that's probably not the best method, but hey, it's something, right? I don't, I don't know. I do not know. He can't retreat this turn. If he attacks us, that's fine. Uh, so Ultra Ball is going to start two cards from his hand. Let's see, what does he discard? Does he get Garboder online or not? If he does get Garboder down, then I'm definitely smacking the Toad plus Hoopa, maybe? There's a Shaman. All right, Shaman coming down is fantastic. Okay, so Shaman coming down. He's going to set up for four new cards. Okay. Just don't get a Garboder. Don't get a Garboder. Because what my plan is to do is if we find a Rare Candy... Plus a Vile Plume, we can knock out the Shaman, plus doing a ton of damage to Side Stone, and then double threat it for the knockout. <laughs> Alright, next turn we have an Octillery as well. We just gotta hope he doesn't put this Garboda down. I know the one Rare Candy's in our deck. I know the Vile Plume's deck. We need to draw both of these. Which might be a little bit difficult. But once again, guys, you just, got, you just gotta believe, guys. Can we do it? Hmm. All right, he's taking a second. He doesn't know what to do. Just like I don't know what to do. Hmm. Is it via Seeker? Okay, does he grab a Lysander? He is going to grab a Lysander. And who will he bring up? Uh, maybe a Remorite? Okay, this is actually fine. Because now if we retreat an Electroweb, it's still stuck in the Axe Spot. So that's okay if you Lysanders right now. Please play a Lysander, sir. Yeah, play a Lysander. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Play your Lysander. I dare you. I do not care. <laughs> I mean, you can't take a knockout anywhere, so that's okay. I mean, if you could take a knockout, I'd be ecstatic because we could teammates for the Rare Candy Plus Valplume. He probably still doesn't know what he's playing with. He's probably like, what Valplume is he playing? Is he even playing Valplume? And to me, I, I don't know. We might be playing Valplume. So Lysander, going to be the Galvantula. Okay, interesting. Uh, Blueing for 30. Okay, all right, all right. So Burst Moon will get popped off, but we can still... Electro would give up when it's stuck in the axe spot. So there's a Ultra Ball. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We got to think about this. So I'm going to Ultra Ball discard teammates and Echo Arm. Okay. We are grabbing Octillery. Come on down, Octillery. Come on, buddy. Let's use that Abyssal Hand. Drawing four new cards. And let's see what will we find with the Abyssal Hand. Can we find a rare candy? If we do, we can. Oh, no. That's not a rare candy. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So what I'm gonna do? Hmm. I'm going to burst balloon the active. I'm going to DC the octillery. So that way, if your life turns up, I could retreat, and I'm a via seeker for an in. Okay. All right. So we're gonna via seeker for in. We play super rod. Uh, da, 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 da. If we play super rod, we can maybe draw to more uh, Joltix. But no, no, no. These two Galvantulas are going to be our... They are going to be our way to win the game. <gasps> no, we were so close. Okay, there's a there's a Vile Plume in our hand. Okay. So, right now, we're going to Town Map. See what's in our prize cards. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I like what I see. And right now, we're going to Electroweb. Hit for 60. Make it where he can't retreat next turn. And if he attacks us, this guy will be knocked out. Now, if that doesn't happen, what we're going to do is play Octillery... Hoping to hit a rare candy or Skyla. There's a Dark New Shaman. Okay, I don't care about that. Does he have wing? If he blue wings, we're okay. <gasps> okay, so he's gonna pass. All right, come on, guys. We gotta believe. And there's a lightning energy. Okay, so we're at a lightning energy age. A Mew? Yeah, I'm going to Lightning Energy Mew. I am going to... Oh, man. Do we Super Rod put three guys back in our deck? Or not? I think that's fine. I'm going to Super Rod put one, two, three. Okay, we have plenty of energy. I'm pretty sure we have plenty of energies. And we're going to Abyssal Hand for three. Can we find a Skyla or a Rare Candy? And we find the Rare Candy. So we can Rare Candy into the Vile Plume. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. Okay, so Vile Plume coming down. And what we're going to do is... Double thread hitting the shaman and the side stone. All right, so there we go. 120, 120. We're going to take two prize cards. We're going to have a DC and a VS Seeker. Oh my goodness. 
So on my opponent's turn, we can win next turn. We just can just hit the side start and win the game. Oh my goodness. How... Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Okay. Our field is crazy looking. There's an Octillery, a Valpum, Galvangela, Mew, and a Galvangela. Oh my goodness. Granite Tree to Darker. I don't care about that. And there's a nice spear doing 90 and 30 to the Mew. I don't care. He doesn't win the game and will hit the size toad. Oh my goodness. Actually, can we take a double knockout? Uh, no. And if it's great, comes down. We did it, guys. Oh my goodness. The Galvantula, Valpum, Octillery, Mew, craziness. Just took down a, like, a competitive deck. Like, this is, a, like, a literary competitive deck. Like, there's Garbodor, there's Darkrai, there's Size Toad, there's Hoopas. There's real stuff in this deck. And we took it down. I would like to thank my parents. I would like to thank you, the fans, uh, for recommending this crazy deck. I, I just, I don't know what to say. I don't, maybe this is the best deck in format. We just took down a Darkrai, Darkrai Eva Tom, Garboder deck. With our deck that, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. Guys, hope you have a fantastic Friday. Hopefully it goes as well as this did because this was fantastic. I don't don't know if it gets any better than this. I don't know if it gets any better than this. Let's look at my opponent's deck. Just make sure we're playing against them. That's legit. Yep, one of garb. Okay, all right. Yeah, like this is a legit deck. Like this is like a two dark patch. Okay, only two, but that's fine. It plays Verbink, lasers, a birch, uh, and whatever. Whatever, guys. We'll still take it. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Fan Friday. Uh, thanks for watching. Man, that was crazy. I still don't know how we won that game, but we did it. Oh, man, dude. Oh, my goodness. Let's look at the deck one more time. Let's look at this beauty. Here it is one more time. The MVP of that game was Electroweb. Yep, Electroweb. Make it where he couldn't retreat. I mean, if he played a Keldeo, which he didn't, <clears throat> it was Size Toad, which is still great. I mean, Size Toad did help us take those last two prize cards. Unfortunately, we didn't see Master Ball come into play. We didn't see teammates or Skyla, but they were there if needed to. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great Friday. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.